Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. It's Marvin speaking. Just going to get straight into talking about Brandon in a short video um, as well. <sighs> Royston keeps coming up and I've got a feeling Brandon's been behind it um, as well and on another side and obviously watching a lot of the channels to see what's actually coming out and what we're actually saying. Um, some people have um, have said that they've said stuff on Facebook group and this person coming under a different Rain Royston something has, you know, sort of had to go back or put something up um, defending himself. But look, why doesn't he come out and tell us what he knows or explain um, why he hasn't talked? I think this is very important. Let's have a quick listen to this video anyway. Now the next person who is in this group is Brandon Hodgson, obviously under the name Royston Cropper, as he has changed later case, and because he hasn't commented on the situation, most of us think he actually played a big part in this. Why would he even be in the group if he didn't know something? He hasn't commented or posted at all, and is just watching what people are saying. Remember Brandon's mum said he was getting death threats and didn't want to speak on the final moments that he shared with Jay before Jay went missing. But he's happy to sit in a Facebook group and look at all the information. Maybe he is paranoid and is hoping no one finds out what his part in this case is. I find it very weird that he's a part of this group and Lucy isn't in any groups other than the original one which is ran by Rachel. It's always the same because, like I said, we're always talking about Lucy, Brad, um, who we know, Rachel Hargreaves, and many other people that were involved, Tom Hilton. But, like I said, Brandon is someone that was supposed to be really, really close to Jay and supposed to have had his back. But what I've heard from many messages in the early part of this case that um, Brandon was one of the reasons why um, Jay got hurt. Um, due to some beef which happened back home which then carried on to Tenerife over um, Brandon owing um, someone some money and then it went off from there I do believe it I do believe that he actually feels guilty uh, Brandon for what happened to Jay and that was one of the reasons why um, he wasn't um, let into the wake um, just after the funeral um, because I think there would have been a lot of questions and uh, basically people probably getting quite tough with him and aggressive with him because like I said because of everything that what happened and when the drinks start to flow emotions start to run people start to say things and you could tell that they looked a bit sheepish um, him and Lucy outside the pub talking to one of their other friends and it, it does make you wonder um, that uh, Debbie and Warren um, think that uh, basically Brandon and Lucy had way more to do with it than what was actually first thought and they haven't said too much um, Lucy uh, made a few interviews and um, she's popped in and out of lives now and again that's all we've had or stop talking about me you know that she's you know s supposedly was talking to Haley Comet and messaging her about uh, basically some of the stuff that the evidence she had on the phone she's no longer got it and we have just chain reactions of rubbish um, coming out um, at the moment that he fell which no one believes and like I said if there is a documentary uh, basically that tells us that Jay had fallen that he had an accident people are gonna go ape they're gonna go mad they're not going to appreciate um, these false narrative stories. And it, it will cause um, a massive backlash, not just in this country, but there's many countries all over the world, Australia, um, America, all over, um, have been you know, emailing me, giving me information, many people in Tenerife, is that they want the truth. And I think as long as we stick together, we will get the truth. But like I said, Royston Cropper, um, I've had many 
sort of different names, different names, Royston someone or something Royston. And I know that Brad um, is watching the channel. And if you want to talk, then you're more than welcome to um, email and we'll have a conversation. Because like I said, all we do, we're not blaming people, but what we want is the, the correct narrative and a timeline into what happened to Jay. Don't forget to subscribe to Streamline uh, Entertainment. And like I said, you never know who's watching you. Take care, people, and thank you.